welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley. I'm a baby lock educator and I wanted to show you guys something a heck of a lot slower with more explanation. Um, this, this video is for those of you who are new to IQ Designer or new to baby lock and you're looking to take an embroidery design that's either on a USB stick or is already in your machine. Send it into IQ and then add something to it, okay? So I know you guys have seen me do this a ton. I usually blow through these things very quickly without giving it a very thorough um, explanation. Today is for our new um, friends here and I've got my digital dual feed plugged in, so I need to unplug that. So we're gonna go in and we're going to, if I can get this, this is why I don't like using mice. They don't work very well for me. Um, we're gonna go in to, um, into our embroidery and we're gonna grab any design. Okay, it really doesn't matter, but let's grab something that's not too overwhelmingly complicated here. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got a little hat we're gonna use for, um, to add something to. So I've got my hat right here. What I want, and this may or may not work. Um, I'm gonna see if this works because if I can't get the design, but let's do this first. We're gonna take an imprint or a, um, a, an outline and send the outline into IQ, okay? So that's how we're gonna bring that design in. You cannot bring this design in here by this method. You can scan something that's already stitched out. You can scan a line drawing. You can scan things like that. And you have a scanning frame. And that's a different subject. You can look up in my, um, in, in my YouTube stuff and put scanning frame in and you'll see some things come up and that will show you that. This is not that. This is if you have a design that you haven't stitched out and you want to send it into IQ to maybe add, you know, let's say we're going to add some hearts to this hat. That's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna hit this flower if, and that does work. Okay, so what it's doing is it's allowing me to know where to place this. And in this case, I am gonna hit the on. So if you have a Solaris, you have this great button here and that's gonna allow you to take the um, outline of the inside of the hat. Okay, you can get away with this even if you don't have that in IQ. I'm sorry, in your, like if you have an Altair Meridian, Destiny, Alissimo, you can actually, um, you can pass you can get this done even if you don't have the inside outline. And the reason I say that is that you can kind of figure it out. If you've got the outline on the outside of the hat, you can kind of place it um, where you want it. The only thing you're really gonna be missing is this and this line. And then you can move it around once it's in uh, embroidery. But for this um, demo, let's go into IQ. And we're going to, and that is not what I want. Let's go all clear on that. So what I did is I went, we're gonna go into IQ. We're gonna start that again. I had another design in there. Okay, so we're gonna go into our flower, which is under this button right here. This is our shapes button. So you're gonna hit that. You're gonna locate the flower, which is exactly the same flower that you have in the embroidery side, so that you know where all the things you send into your IQ are sitting under that little flower. Okay, so there's my hat. I'm gonna grab my hat. Now I can do whatever I want as far as adding shapes to this. I can add to this in any way, and then I'm gonna send it into the embroidery side. Now, if I want to, if I want to keep this exact thing, I need to add, like if, if I try to send that right now, this is not actually, it has had nothing assigned to it. And by that, what I mean is it's kind of just a drawing right now. Until I assign a line property to this or fill, it will not do anything. It won't allow me to um, do anything to it. So what we'll, let's do right now is let's let's assign a line property to it, okay? Um, and I'm actually going to add some light here. I wish we get to do this. Okay, so now you can see the hat better. Let's, let's zoom in a little better and see if that gives us. So what I wanna do is I want to assign my line property. So I've chosen a bean stitch. I clicked on my paint bucket, which allows me to add that line property without, if I just had that pencil on, it's only where I, it's only in that spot. So if I click on that, it's only that exact spot, okay? So we're gonna do our paint bucket and then we can go around and just click on all these lines and add this line property to it until we've completed it. And now that should be it. So when you hear that clicking, because all these are separate line properties, um, if they were all interconnected, if something connected them with a specific line, all I would have to do is click on it once. 
but because they're independent, I have to click on it several times. So when I do that, I'm gonna be able to bring this entire thing into the embroidery. Now, let's say I didn't want to add this. I can always eliminate some things. I could go in and erase this. These And these are just the outlines of the heart in the inside. So let's say I didn't want to do that. I can get rid of that. Um, and then, so what we're going to do now, we want to add, I'm going to add three hearts to this hat. And we're, we're going to do them in red, which actually should look kind of fun. So let's do pick our heart. And we just went into shapes and, and, and I did it again. Here are all the closed shapes. Okay. You've also got another section here, which are closed shapes, but they're a little bit more complicated. And some of them have independent closed shapes. So you'd have to add things to that. Then I go to my open shapes and I've got even more stuff. Okay. But when I go back to the closed shapes, now I have this subcategory, which is I've got just the outline of those shapes. If I were to go to the next one, it's just the fill of those shapes. So if you don't want an outline design, you can just go and click on this. Or if you want an outline and the shape already filled in, you can do that, okay? So we've got our heart there. We're gonna go to size. And what we're gonna do is we're going to size this down to the size we want. And then I'm gonna duplicate it because I don't need to go and do this three times, okay? So I'm gonna place this where I want it in the hat. I'm going to size it down a little bit more. And I'm just eyeballing this. This is just the creative part of it that's fun. At least I think it's fun. I could do this all day. And I'm going to place that one. And I'm going to duplicate it again. And when I do these things, um, I'm going to look at the, the grid here. Once again, I want this to be um, on an even plane. So I'm gonna leave that there, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna grab my paint bucket. This is your fill property. You have all of your different colors here. You've got uh, this, it's default to satin. Then you've got your um, stippling. And then if you click on that button, you've got a bunch of fancy fills. And you can go through and select a bunch of those. Those are fun to do. But we're gonna, and this is your no so line, which means if I were to put that in, it wouldn't stitch anything out. Okay, and I've got a bunch of stuff on that. So we're gonna do the satin fill. Okay, so I've got my paint bucket on. I'm gonna drop my satin fill within each of the little sections of the hat. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm actually going to, just for fun so that you can see it, I'm going to place a red um, fill, or I'm sorry, a red line property. So this is your line property, this is your fill properties. I'm gonna grab my paint bucket once again because I wanna apply it to the whole shape at once. So I'm gonna click on each of those hearts. So now we've got what we're looking for. So all I did is I took a shape from embroidery and that could have been off an I, an, a, a USB stick, could have been something that you imported in here, doesn't matter. It just matters that you know how to take the um, impression of it or however you wanna think about it. It's a basically a line, um, an outline and then again, on your slurs, you can you have the ability to do the inner portion of it. And that's a really key thing to do. It's very nice to have that. So we've done that. We've taken it in here. We assigned line, line properties to the hat. If we wanted to, we could put fill properties within the hat, um, whichever you'd like to do. But I'm going to leave it as it is, which is strange for me, but I'm going to. And then we went to our shapes key. We grabbed a heart um, from the first from the first shape section, with it, which is the closed shapes with no fill in them. Then we added a satin fill. Now we could have brought in a, a, a filled shape already, but it's nice to know how to do this. And then grabbed our paint bucket, dropped our fill in there, and then added your bean stitch line property to that. Okay, and you can add any property, just like the other one has the fancy fills. You've got your um, satin, your, your single stitch, bean stitch, or triple stitch candle wicking, chain stitch, blanket stitch, V stitch, and then in this section, you've got your fancy line prop, the line properties, which are fun to do. And these can be used as all sorts of things. Think of this as fur, even. You can use it as grass, which is what it kind of looks like. But if you place that around animals, it kind of looks like a little furry animal, which is fun. Um, lots of different ways you can manipulate those. So that's our line property. Okay, so now we're going to take this and I wanna see what it looks like. So we're moving into our editing screen of our um, of our IQ. Once I go back, okay, just so you know, I'm gonna give this little tip here. Once I return back into this, if I wanna change something, I can't use my backup key. I've lost that ability to, re to rewind it 
Um, I can make any change that I want, but just so you know, if you see that this, your, um, your little backup or forward keys have been grayed out, that's because um, we've moved into the editing and come back in, and you can see that this is also grayed out. If you wanna be able to um, capture all of this at once and make those ability, you know, if you wanna size this as a whole, you can do that. You just need to use your select key. You can enlarge, you can, sh you can reduce, whatever it is as a whole like that. But if you have your magic wand, I can select individual parts of this. So I can just highlight that little section or that hard or whatever it is. But if you wanna highlight the entire thing, definitely use your selection tool and drag and drop. Okay, so let's go in and let's see what it's gonna look like. And you can make your changes here, okay? You've got the ability to toggle between, that's your, it was on your satin fill of this heart, and you may not be able to see it, but that little red uh, box is around the first heart. And as we go to the right, it's gonna choose each heart individually. And there's a there's a little part right here that I forget that I missed to erase. And what I would do is go back and erase that and the other one. But we're not going to worry about that. Okay. And then now this is the whole hat all at once. Okay. And then it'll give you individual sections, those little black line properties because those are individual. Okay. So there there you go. We are happy with that. Let's move. Oh, actually, let's go back and do this. Hold on a second. I wanna, I wanna be able to show you what's under this. So you've got um, a, a few categories right here. You can affect these as well. This one is nice because it allows you to do the under sewing. So if you wanna have a layer of red stitch before that design, you can do that on each of those. This is an open design, so you wouldn't do that on anything but the hearts, but it's a very nice thing. I turn that on most of the time. And then you can play around with these things. You've got your pull compensation, which is another digitizing thing. It, it discusses the way things are aligned. Um, in this, you've got your density. You can increase your density in these things. And that's a nice thing to do along with, like if you're finding you've got gaps and things, you can increase your density and do your undersewing and that helps that. And then this will give you a different direction. You can affect how these are stitched. That's it. right now it's on a 45 degree default. I'm not gonna worry about that, I rarely do. Okay, so now let's move into our um, move into our embroidery, and you can see what that looks like. So now, what I want to do is show you the difference. So this, we've got our first hat, which is right here. Obviously, that is actually a satin stitch. That's why that looks a little bit um, thicker. This we applied a triple stitch to this, and you can go, you can change that back. You can't do that here, but you can change it in IQ if you like the thicker lines. Um, but if I were going to erase this, if I don't want that and I just want this, I can just highlight it and then get rid of it and then this will stitch out. Okay, so there is your beginning embroidery lesson. That's, I think, going to be helpful for those of you who are new to IQ. Um, I just went into the stitch out portion and then what I do most of the time is I will highlight this button right here, which is my pre preview button. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to... Um, zoom in on that and now I can see what my design looks like. Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully that's helpful. I know um, sometimes I go way too fast and assume that you guys are um, all, you've been doing this a while, so um, it's good to slow down once in a while and make sure that I can help people who are new to IQ. And if you do have questions, I, I, I always try to make a video on things that you guys need some help with. So don't, don't, be shy about that. You can write to me here or in So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery Facebook group, and um, I will help you, and all the rest of the gals will help you as well. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.